okay in this video I'm going to talk to you about the SQL server 2008 creating index using a transact SQL I have already spoken about the index limitations and other details in the video that says create index using SQL server management studio it contains all the details anyway I will outline again a few details you can have up to 16 columns for index composite index means a column index that is more than one column is known as composite in index and there you can have up to 16 columns ok but however the limitation is about 900 bytes you cannot have an index that is more than, 100, more than 900 bytes ok columns that are large objects like log data types and text text and where care and where care where binary xml image cannot be specified as a key column for an index also the view definition cannot include and text text or image even if they are not referenced in the create index statement you can have only one clustered index per table you can have 999 non clustered index per table that is what is specified by the SQL Server 2008 help and let's go down for index view non clustered index can be created on the view that have a unique clustered index already defined remember unique clustered index already defined on the index view has to be there only then only a non cluster index can be created okay now the okay, unique index can be created in the case you need some of the columns to be unique a primary key is a unique index but you can have only one primary key index one primary key and not multiple primary keys so if you want more than you want more than one unique column you create a unique index but remember if you specify that column as a null then null would also become a one part of a unique index if you as a if that key is made of composite key then all the variations of nulls could be added and they would include into the index as a unique index okay ok now let's go and use a transact sql here it is now let's take the database as a sample as a database ok that already exists if you don't have the sample you can create it ok and i'm going to run this command and create this table now this table does not have any primary key attached to it ok the first line checks it whether the object id jobs that ok u is not null means that the it is a user defined object ok then drop table jobs if it exists the job uh, this table would be dropped and then uh, another table would be created with the same name and that would be this description of the table now let's execute this command and a table has been created I will refresh the table from here and let's see here we are the table is already there now now let's click the tree plus from that ok now is after expanding the index there is no index specified because there is no index on this table jobs and now I am going to create a index or well, not specifying that create index but rather than adding a constant as a constant primary key ok now this is another syntax that I will use this is alter table jobs add constant pk job id that is the primary key constant name the primary key then clustered job id go ok this is a transact sql that would i would execute it and the index would be added now remember 
that any time you create a primary key index by using SQL Server Management Studio, it will be always created at a clustered index. Okay, now go, let us go and especially run actually refresh this indexes and see. Right click on the index and click the refresh. As you can see, another index has been added down there. PK job ID clustered. Okay, and this is how you have created a index using a T SQL code. If you want to see how it was created by using SQL Server Management Studio, you can go to that video and see that video how to create a index using SQL Server Management Studio. In this video, I am going to cover only the trans TSQL. Now, if I wanted to check the index, I would say SP help index execute go and it should list me the index name for the jobs sp help index is the system stored procedure would list the index for the table ok so far it has shown me one index it says cluster unit primary key located on the primary key and the index key is on the job id ok let's go to the next one now suppose if i wanted to create a uh, another unique index but this time on the job title because I have already one primary key index I cannot create another primary key index so I can always create a unique non clustered index remember that I can create only one clustered index so create I can always create another unique non clustered index okay on this key that is job title on the jobs table okay let us just run this com transact SQL command and another index gets created as you can see that a unique index has been added to it ok this is another index that has been created ok again i can check it with the spl index also it also can be run there we are now suppose if i wanted to drop the primary key index ok i, I can drop it by using the alt table const alt, alter table job drop constraint there is no drop index with the primary key job id remember that thing because it has been added at a constant it will be dropped as a constant while with this it is simple very from here for the index i can always click right click and say delete click the right click and select the delete and it will be deleted but while using tsql this is the syntax execute i refresh the index there is no index now left over I am going to drop this index also I am going to show it to you while dropping the unix in no this unique index ok that is non clustered ok I am going to use a drop index not a drop constant remember the difference between both of them as you can see that the index has been dropped i have refreshed the index and it it has disappeared completely there is no plus sign showing means there are no index right now here now let's go back and rerun this sql sql of creating a unique index i will also run together with the sp help index the system stored procedure check the indexes that has been created and there we are a unique job in title non clustered prime unique located on the primary etc has been created okay primary file group okay let's go and see it okay now let's go and add back the constant to the jobs again let's back go back and add it the primary key again and let's execute it and then let's execute the SP help index go execute here we are we have got both the index back now let's go and add some data this is where we are remember this SQL server 
we created it on the title for the unix index okay i'm going to add this row let's see the title is sql server programming okay and then i am going to execute this insert okay it shows one row affected however because the unique index has been created on the title if i now go and execute this statement which shows that a uh, sql server programming again okay it it will fail okay so let's execute it and the index will fail and the sorry and the insert would fail and the statement ha has been terminated cannot insert duplicate key row on the object with the unique index missing this is how the unique index works now let's further go and actually alter the table and add two more columns to it okay one is the job state and the job city okay this will actually alter the table and add both of the columns there we are the sql has been completed successfully now let's create a composite index on this state and city okay this is a this is a composite unique index okay create unique index unique state city on job state city job state and job city and go and then we can check the index also at the same time there we are as you can see the last one this is a composite index again it is a unique one okay non clustered only now let's go and add this record okay row with the ca and la los angeles to the table jobs there the there is the row that has been added row has been added now let's see there the another row i have do i clearly have said the key is different the title is different but the problem is I'm again saying CA and Los Angeles because there is a unique index on this thing. This will fail. Okay. Okay. The statement has been failed. Okay, because of the unique state city. That's how the unique index works. Okay. Now suppose I just go and change Los Angeles to Hollywood. This should work because this becomes again a unique key. Okay, so this is has supposed to be working, and this record is inserted. Now, suppose if I wanted to create a non-clustered index, but not a unique one, so I can drop the earlier unique index and create a another index on the same thing, and this should do the job. And this is a not a unique index, so it will allow me to enter as many CA Los Angeles. as many as i want here are two records there are two rows that i am inserting okay both have the same state and city new york manhattan okay and again same thing here also okay but this should work and there we are Okay, this is how I have explained you about the index using the transact SQL. I will just end it here.